I went and tested it with counsel because I trust myself, but I also know that I can be, I can learn more. And then it's like, okay, I'm in tune with what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. This information that I got from outside counsel is helping me. And then here's the hardest part that no one does and why people stay stuck. You have to make a decision. Hmm. You now have the data. You have to make a decision. And I learned from my business coach. He was like, do you know what the root word of decide is? He's like, it's side. C-I-D-E, which means to kill. Homicide, suicide. Hmm. So when you're making a decision, you inevitably have to kill something and pick something else. That's so that's gonna interesting. Be, that's going to be the hardest part in moments of failure like that because yeah. i so there's always almost always two decisions you stay the same you make a change and anxiety lives in the in between so now that you have the data butter up buttercup right like you yeah. just have to go so at that point and i try i try my best to be as 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 vulnerable as possible so that letter i i just you know, I took ownership. I I highlighted what I was seeing, the potential. And I remember a bar from Brene Brown that changed my life. She she wrote, choose discomfort over resentment. Really and I good. think I remember in that letter, there was a bar that I wrote to him. I was like, the last thing I want to do is continue down this path and resent you as a friend because that I hold more valuable than anything we do in business. Hmm. And then that was it. So that was literally the, the, for, the formula for how I came to my decision. And at the time, I still considered myself green. So I needed a lot of counsel. Over time, as you put yourself in situations of risk and failure and rinse and repeat, Confidence breeds success. Success breeds confidence. You begin to trust your own judgment more so you can move faster, hmm. right? So again, um, in hindsight, that's that's how I would encourage anybody that may be feeling like they're in a situation where they need to decide and they've just been pushing it off or they've have been guilt tripping themselves or shaming themselves or feeling heavy because of a quote unquote failure. We have to move. And the only way to move is to bridge the knowledge gap of the things you don't know to be able to make a decision around the area you want to go to. So that, yeah. that, at least that's what's worked for me. No, <laughs> that's so good. Well, there's so many things in there too, but I have never heard of the decide, like the side part of that word. Never heard, but that blows my mind. I mean, that's that's brutal in a way, mm. but it's so true. Um, so I love that. And then also what I'm hearing is, and I'd love to ha have you tell me more about this, but all intertwined throughout all of that is humility because you have to be humble enough to take counsel from your wife, from your business coach, and then uh, test these hypotheses and come back and say, okay, well, if I was wrong, that's okay. I'm going to take your advice and we're going to try it this way. Do you get that from the scientific method or how, how, how did you develop that humility? 